welcome to World Monologue Games 2023 Regional Finals. This is the main professional category and the region is Southern Europe and Australia, non-New South Wales. Note that we often have strong language or adult themes here at the game, so if you're sensitive to any particular topic or subject matter, it could be in this show. Feel free to hit the like or subscribe button or give us a comment or chat message if you'd like to show some love for the actors. Voting lines will be open for 48 hours at the end of this broadcast and a link will be posted in the description of this video below. Enjoy the show. So I stopped at a jack-in-the-box on the way here and the girl behind the counter says, Hiya! Are you having an awesome day? Not, how are you today? No. Are you having an awesome day? Which is pretty shitty because it puts the onus on me to disagree with her. Like, if I'm not having an awesome day, suddenly I'm the negative one. Usually when people ask how I'm doing, the real answer is, I'm doing shitty. But I can't say I'm doing shitty because I don't have a good reason to be doing shitty. So if I say, I'm doing shitty, then they say, why? What's wrong? And I have to be like, I don't know, all of it? So instead, when people ask how I'm doing, I usually just say, I am doing so great. But when this girl at the Jack in the Box asked if I was having an awesome day, I thought, well, today, I'm actually allowed to feel shitty. Today, I have a good reason. So I said to her, well, my mom died. And she immediately burst into tears. So now I have to comfort her, which is annoying. And meanwhile, there's this line of people queuing up behind me, giving me these real judgy looks because I made the Jack in the Box girl cry. And she's bawling and she's saying, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. You know, it's, it's not fine, but you know, it's, it's fine. And I would like to order a double Jack meal and I've kind of got somewhere to be. So maybe less with the crying and more with the frying, huh? And she apologizes again, and she offers me a free churro with my meal. And as I'm leaving, I'm thinking, I just got a free churro because my mom died. No one ever tells you when your mom dies, you get a free churro. Fine. You really want me to talk? You want to know why I haven't said a peep for almost 20 minutes now? It's because I don't talk to racists. <laughs> yeah, I said that. A racist, bigot, prejudiced person. <laughs> don't look at me like that. What do you expect me to believe? You're standing on top of me, intimidating me with your 400 pounds and saying what? That my mother is a terrorist? What, because she's taking medication? What a surprise for an 80 year old. Because she's the wrong color. If you ask me, I believe she is the wrong color. Wrong color, wrong age, wrong gender, wrong career, wrong everything. Because people like you love to make life hard for people like us. Now, I don't know what you believe that my mother has done. That requires you to hold my whole family here in custody for hours, but I am done talking to you, sir. I have nothing more to say. Is <laughs> Δεν έχω παρά να διελέξω με εκάλες ρεζίλι. Ήταν όλα ψέματα. Μου είπες ψέματα. Η αράπη μας, η ζωή μας ήταν ψέμα. Πρόδωσα την οικογένεια μου για σένα. Έσπεσα την ιερή υπόσχεση μου για σένα. Γέννησα δύο αγόρια για σένα. Και τι έκανα για μένα. Αυτό 
Τώρα θα το πάρω όλα. Όχι γιατί θέλω, αλλά γιατί πρέπει να γίνει. Πρέπει να τα φτιάξω. Εγώ του σε τόσο ζωή. Τώρα του παίρνω πίσω. Είναι του καθήκον μου. Να του αφήσω να περπατήσω στο πατέρα το στίσκιο. Στο πρόσωπο των εκεντρών. Ποτέ! Η καθρία μου τα σπάσει. Αλλά τα ζήσω με την αφαρίστηση όσο ξέρω. Ότι δεν τα μπορείς να υποφέρεις τον πόνο σου. Η ψυχή σου τα καταστραφεί. Και δεν θα μείνει τίποτα από σένα. Τα χάσεις για πάντα. Hi guys, thanks for coming here today. I know this is short notice and I've been a little bit vague about why I brought all my siblings here today. Firstly, don't panic. Okay, I am not dying. In fact, I'm feeling great. And I am... I'm not doing this very well, am I? So I might as well just come out with it. In the coming weeks, I will be transitioning to a woman. And no, this is not a joke. I can tell from your expressions, many mixed emotions, and I need to explain myself, so please take a moment to hear me out. This has been brewing for quite a while. I don't know why this has come to me so late in my life, but Gradually, it has become more important to me. And despite many years of self-doubt, I now know this is who I want to be. I've been Chris all my life, but we soon go by Christine. I will set a date for her public debut. And I, I know this comes as a shock and each of you will process this news differently. Brenda, I know I'm not the sister that you wish for as a little girl, but I would cherish your support and guidance in my new life. I also know you'll have to tell your kids as well, but at least they've been educated about gender identity over the years. And hopefully they will accept and love Christine as much as they have Chris. We have also had our differences over the years, but we've accepted those differences and continued to love each other. I hope in time that you accept and love me as Christine, your sister. Yo, man, do you have like toast? Cause like this whole aisle is with bread, but like it's soft bread and I need some like toast, like hard bread. You know what I mean? Like all of a sudden I got this craving, man. I got this craving for toast. Do you have it? Whoa, man. Whoa. I just got this realization, man. Do you think that's why they didn't call me for the job? Because I thought it's because I didn't go to college and because my resume had gaps in it. But maybe, maybe they were looking for something specific, like toast. And we are all soft bread, man. Do you think I'm ever going to be someone's toast? Or do you think I'm going to be soft bread forever? Man, I got it. I need something to, to, to turn me into toast. I need an, an apparatus. What are you guys using? A, a, a toast? <gasps> I need a toaster later, man. I need a toaster later. 
I need something to transform me from this squishy, mushy self into something crunchy. Oh, great. Man, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna do some research, man. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Walmart. Thank you. I'm going home. Danas sam se posveđala sa svojim životom i ne želim više da učestvujem u njemu. Jer ne sledi srce moje. Nek prolazi mimo mene i neka vene. Ime prika. Moje su granice šire i veće. I u njima stanuje mnogo više sreće. Ti život, previše si realan, iako je oko nas sve nerealno. Previše si ozbiljan, pa ti smetaju moje neozbiljnosti. Pa čak si previše mrgodan, pa te nervira moja radost. Ne spuštaj mi oblake na zemlju. Nije im tamo mesto. Ne gasim i zvezde na nebu. Kad u njih gledam često. Ko si ti? Ko ti zapravo daje da mi gasiš osjećanje? Opominjem te još jednom živote. Ne petlj mi se u život. Saputnik si... Vrlo loš. Ako sa mnom ne možeš sklopiti pakt, nemoj da započineš ni rad. Idi. Vidiš da ti slobodu dajem. Budi nekom drugom život sivi. Ja idem dalje. I ne zastaju. I posle života mogu da živim. Hi Sarah, uh, this won't be long. I got your messages. I wasn't going to respond until you sent that second one where you said I was being childish for not talking to you. And that got to me a bit. It's been four years. Four years since you cheated on me after our argument. And you know what happened then. You married that guy four weeks later by telling me and my family that you still love me and you just needed time. You listened to me apologize for things that weren't even my fault. I found out that you'd known this guy for quite a while and you'd cheated on your previous partner with him, but you never took up his offer for a visa then because you knew he wasn't a decent guy. This guy, your husband, is known to go to Asian countries for one reason. Young girls. He won't be loyal. I guess he hasn't been loyal. But I assume things aren't going too well, or otherwise you would not have contacted me. I knew about your money laundering. I knew about your escorting in Singapore. And none of that would have worried me because I did love you. But I'm not angry or upset anymore. I'm a, I don't hate you. Actually, I'm in a good place now. Indifference. Where I don't care what happens to you. But I do know that you will regret losing me. And that's not being arrogant. That's the truth. Anyone you find will not love you the way that I loved you. And your family knew this. I said this wouldn't be long. I decided to send you a video because a text wouldn't be able to say this properly. Please don't ever contact me again. I'd wish you well, but that would be a lie. And there are too many lies in our relationship. And I don't want to add to them. Goodbye, Sarah.
we're staying at the front counter, reading a menu, because that's where they are, they're at the front counter, you know. They're not at the farm, which would be more convenient, on the window. So I didn't actually have to come in here and read it. But it's at the front counter, so I come in and I'm reading the menu. And as I'm reading the menu, your waitress comes up and snaps at me. It's table service! To which I go, ah, chill, I'm just reading the menu. Because, you know, I don't know if I actually want to eat here. I have allergies. And quite frankly, I work hard for my money. So if I don't see anything on the menu that I fancy, then I'm not going to sit here and eat, am I? So anyway, I look at the menu. You know, there's some tasty options. Coffee smells good. So against my better judgment, because already, you know, I've had some inferior service, I sit down. And then I proceed to wait for 35 minutes for table service, of which there's none. I then have to get up and come to the front counter and ask somebody if they could please serve me. And I asked politely, but I still got sucked lemon face. Like seriously, you're giving me attitude. You tell me it's table service and then 35 minutes later, I'm still waiting for service. I'm incredibly hungry. It's two o'clock. I haven't eaten a thing all day, you know, because I'm fasting. And I expect that you're gonna come and serve me within 35 minutes or less. Anyway, she comes to my table. She's still got suckle in the face. She's really unhelpful, you know, when it comes to answering questions about the menu. I mean, if you're gonna use fancy words, you're gonna to have to explain things to people. So I proceeded to order. I mean, quite frankly, the food was terrible. It was dry, it was tasteless. The cof coffee was overbrewed. It was bitter. And now you're gonna ask me to pay $65 because I've consumed food here and you've served me, barely. Um, and it was horrible. It was actually really fucking terrible. And I really don't wanna pay for it. But I can't really run out and not pay for it, can I? And even now you're thinking, oh my God, what a complaining Karen. But actually you asked me how it was, but what you wanted me to say was, <laughs> it was incredible, you know, so good. And the waitress, oh, she was so lovely. You know, how can I give her a $20 tip? But no, you're just gonna take my money and you're not gonna do anything about it. So why did you even ask me in the first place? Hold on to each moment of our lives. Even if now I, I can't remember the texture of your skin, or the warmth of your lips. I am a machine. I just wanted to tell you how much I loved you. I wanted to tell you that everything that I've done was for you. For us. For peace. All the people I've killed. The innocence I have slaughtered. The life I have taken from this universe. He was chasing an illusion. Peace is just a lie. Conflict is the only reality of this universe. A reality no Jedi, no Sith will ever understand. And that I grasp only too late. You are dead now. You both are. I couldn't save you. I couldn't save you with all my training. I couldn't save you with my power. I couldn't save you with the dark side. I... I... I couldn't save you.
And now I can save myself. The script doesn't matter. The bloody script doesn't matter. I can say anything I want. Any bloody thing. And it doesn't matter if it makes sense or not. So long as I'm able to show great range in my vocal ability, facial expressions and mannerism. Language doesn't matter too. So I believe check up dalam bahasa Malaysia atau bahasa Indonesia. Nihongo mo dekimas. Puedo habla en español. Hongo go de heo. Yo forse anche italiano. I make sure I look over there. Then look straight ahead and then wistfully to the right and pretend I am blowing away my fears, but say it in a whisper. Whispers are like catnip for monologue lovers. Have I paused long enough? Pause is always good. So forget the script, burn it, bury it, flush it down the toilet. Just make sure it's gone. Ow. <laughs> but don't, don't lay it on too thick and don't um, overact. The only thing that matters is your delivery. How silky smooth is that vehicle that is your voice? Are you able to charm? Are you able to seduce the audience to make them hang? On your every word and every movement of your hand and every time you stare into the depths of their soul. Do something dramatic like this, then look straight ahead with the look of utter disgust. If you can cry at the drop of a dime, cry. I bloody can't, but I can pretend to be laughing at something funny, even though there's nothing bloody funny to laugh at. <laughs> Maybe you laugh so hard you piss your pants. <sighs> nah, <laughs> this is shit. The script matters. Um, what's up? What's wrong with me? Why don't you ever talk to me? Ah, uh, it's fine. I mean, uh, I have already introduced myself. I'm Enrico from Italy. Ciao, Bella. Hello, beautiful. Come on, you are so serious. I'm just trying to have a conversation with you. Uh, I'm just trying to be funny. Mm. You want some water? Maybe you could refresh your mouth and then you can talk to me. Why are you looking at me like that? You don't like my shirt. You don't like my face. You don't like my expression. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you?
funny story about Milno. We were playing a game of um, backyard cricket down at the Oval. Mate, he's not a good bowler at the best of times, old Milno. And he was bowling this spinner that was, it didn't spin at all, but it didn't even bounce. So he bowls this full toss at me. Mate, my eyes light up. Tongue goes out. <laughs> Mate, I dance down the pitch. I am going to send this thing out of the fucking galaxy. <laughs> I take an almighty swing at it. Mate, I miss cure. I still make contact, but it's, it's only good to send it skyrocketing right directly up into the air. Oh my God, shit. Mate, Milno charges for the catch. So I know I'm essentially out. But the thing is, it had been raining the night before. So, you know what Milno's like? Mate, he's built like a brick shit house. Mate, trying to stop him is like trying to stop a hit semi trailer with your hand. <laughs> Mate, so he's charged it in. It had been raining the night before, so oh, he slips. Oh, oh, <laughs> he makes that noise as he falls. Oh. <laughs> but the thing is, He's actually made enough ground to be directly still underneath the ball. So the ball's right above him. And it, 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 the ball comes down. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> he still drops it. Oh, he goes. After all that. <laughs> oh. you want me to say that shooting him was really self-defense? That you killed the father for standing up for his son? What for? For us to feel shit about it? I thought about it for weeks and then I took it upon myself to pay for the mistake we did. You didn't kill that man because you feared for your life or mine. You had never killed him if he had been a northerner. We know that, Akron. You're just mad. <laughs> so what marriage are you really talking about? Never got married after that divorce. Yeah, we signed the papers, but we were never husband and wife. Not really. You took me back because you felt so obligated and because you knew no one would marry a divorced woman who couldn't bear children. <laughs> you bitted me. Because you are a self-respecting Sudanese husband. But you blame me for a different day. With your sarcasm, with your cold attitude, with the way you undermine everything I do or say. It's almost like you despise. The vagina gets everything. The vagina is like that friend who begs you to go to a party with them and tells you how much fun you're going to have and is all girly with you getting ready in the bathroom, then shoulders past you as you arrive and leaves you alone in the corner. The vagina gets all the fun. The vagina has all the nerve endings and gets to bounce up and down on the penises and tongues. You know what I get? The work. 
Everything I do is work stuff. Everything she does is fun stuff. And that's not even the worst of it. I have the world's worst fucking view. You know what I see a few inches up from the door? Well, most of the time, nothing. And then it's like, oh, look at that nice little lake. So pretty. I feel like I'm in the Bahamas on a nice beach holiday and... Oh, she's peeing. And on the previous note of the sex, not only do I get none of the fun, I get the nightmarish image of... Well, let's put it this way. Imagine you're a rabbit and a snake has chased you into a hole and you're back right up against the wall and thankfully it got wedged, but it's all like... <laughs> then you know what's next? <laughs> oh. Oof. And after that, life, I get to make a new life inside me. For nine months, it's no longer about her, it's about me. Sure, the vagina might still get some empty pleasure, but I get the highest honor, the highest duty. I get the respect. I make the greatest gift any woman could ask for. Do you understand the gravity of that? I make a new life, a life, and then menopause. No matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, it's all over, pink or over. <laughs> so yeah, you want to know how I would sum all this up? Dear vagina, fuck you, love uterus. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you would like to help select who goes through to the global finals, you can do so by voting. We're about to publish a link to the voting form in the description of this video below, and voting lines are open for 48 hours from the end of the broadcast. You must select exactly two performances, not just one, and please note that you're not allowed to vote more than once per show. Thanks for tuning in. Head to worldmonologuegames.com slash watch if you'd like to check out more of our events. See you next time.